Would you like to know how to beat the YouTube algorithm? Yeah, beat it. I'm gonna talk about how you do that, and then I'm gonna look at whether it's a good idea or not. First of all, what is the YouTube algorithm? All right, it's, it's the program. It's the programming code that knows what videos to put in front of us. So when we bring up YouTube, there's a whole bunch of, of videos in front of us that YouTube put there in hopes that we would find something that we would like to watch. Somebody else brings up their YouTube page and they see a whole different list of videos. Somebody else opens up their YouTube page, they see a whole, so everyone is seeing different recommendations. And it's the algorithm that determines what videos to suggest to others. There are millions and millions and millions and hundreds of millions of videos on YouTube. And there's millions of videos uploaded new every single day. So if I open up my YouTube screen and I've only got, you know, a dozen or a couple of dozen videos just right there in front of me, how does YouTube know? Well, it knows by a few factors. It knows because I've subscribed to different channels and if there's subscribe channels that I regularly watch and that channel's uploaded a new episode, likely I'll click on that, right? So it'll know to put that one there. Um, it'll also show me videos that are similar to other videos that I've, if I've watched. So if I really like gardening videos and there's a gardening video that's done really well on, on YouTube, YouTube might suggest it to me because it thinks that I might like it. It's a popular video and I might like it. So the algorithm is a really good thing. I mean, YouTube's algorithm is so good. It's actually like tons and tons of formulas, tons of little algorithms that all make up the algorithm. And they're, they're modifying it. They're adding new rules, new programs, new artificial intelligence features that make it smarter and smarter and will provide better and better recommendations to it. So if we want to have a good YouTube experience, uh, we are grateful for the YouTube algorithm. So what's this talk about beating it? Why would we want to beat it? I mean, as a viewer, we certainly want, would not want to beat the algorithm. We want the algorithm to work. We want the algorithm to succeed. We don't want things to slip through because if things slip through the algorithm and they're in front of us that, ah, uh, why is this here? You know, something inappropriate showed up for me or showed up for my kids or something like that. We would be really mad at YouTube. Right, so there's, there's a lot of uh, malicious or bad stuff out there that um, would love to be able to beat the YouTube algorithm and just get it out there in front of everybody. Or think about it from a business promotional point of view. If you could somehow beat the algorithm and get things to show up in front of people that they're really not interested in or they really don't wanna watch. This conversation of beating the algorithm comes from search engine optimization. When I used to have an SEO service, search and an optimization service for websites, and it really worked. We would take a website and we'd do link building and article marketing and social media posts and, and have them all link back to this website. It's, it's kind of like we'd create link wheels and do all, all types of stuff to make this website look more important and to look more relevant for specific phrases, okay? And essentially, that's trying to beat the Google algorithm, trying to get Google to believe that this is the most important website on that topic. Is that beating the algorithm? Is that helping the algorithm out? I don't know the answer to that, but uh, it doesn't really work as much as it used to. I don't offer SEO anymore because in order to get the same results, uh, back at the time I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna have to quadruple my budget to be able to get the same results that I have been, and I was getting way better results on YouTube. My, my whole business changed because I now know how to partner with the YouTube algorithm. You see, YouTube has a partner program. It really is a partner program. It's such a good name for the, the program where you can get paid money from people's advertising money. So if you have a video and their ads show up before your YouTube video, you'll get paid 55% of what advertisers pay to YouTube. That's pretty cool. I think that the that that partner program provides another huge, huge, huge benefit, more than just getting paid ad revenue. I mean, I do, don't get me wrong, I love the ad revenue that I receive. I get between ten dollars and $14,000 per month from YouTube ad revenue across all my different channels. 
but I make way more money in other areas. Um, I have a business and my clients have businesses. My biggest channel with my client, Chris, that channel brings in $600,000 per month from sales. So people watch the YouTube video. At the end of the YouTube video, it, he says, hey, if you like this video, you should get my free book. And they click on the link to go get his free book. Now they're a lead in his sales funnel and he sells them things. And last month, he brought in over $600,000. Um, it was only five, no, it was, it was just below five figures in ad revenue that month. So why am I talking about this? Well, it's because the, the reason that we've gotten such great results and make that much revenue and that much sales and generate that much traffic is because we've learned how to partner with the YouTube algorithm, not trick it or not beat it. So let me give you the specifics of, of what we did and how we partnered with YouTube. We look back at our history of our channel and we found a video that was one of our top performing videos. And we thought, you know what, this was a good video, but we can do better. We can do a video with the same title. We can create a better thumbnail. We can create better content that's just even better. It'll be the same stories and stuff, but we'll just put more heart, more strategy into the video. Instead of just filming it for about, about six minutes, um, we actually, you know, we made a longer video, but we put more strategy into it as well. We did it walking around instead of holding in place. Long story short, we picked a video that we knew that YouTube liked and we made another one and made it better. And YouTube liked that one as well and just started promoting it through the roof. Yes, we got a lot of ad revenue from that, but wow, our channel grew from 80,000 subscribers to 160,000 subscribers in five weeks. It doubled our channel size. And that specific month, we had, I think, $18,000 in ad revenue. So I'm not complaining about the ad revenue, but that's what really started, uh, that's what really launched, but that's what really launched this channel into a traffic generating machine to our websites. And from then on, we've been making over six figures a month in sales. So I know that you want to know how to beat the YouTube algorithm. The challenge is, is even if you do figure out a way to beat it, YouTube is going to close up that loophole and your videos are just going to tank. See, over the years, I've had a lot of friends in the YouTube world that will complain every time that there's an algorithm change. They'll say, oh, look at this. They're, my views just dropped off. They'll show graphs and whatnot and they'll just show this and then it will just drop off and somebody else will say, yeah, look at mine too. They'll show their screenshot and it will drop off. I go on and look at my stats and mine are just going along like this. No drops at all. And why is that? Because there was no loopholes that I'm that I'm exploiting to try and, and cheat the system or, or try and get my videos in front of people who otherwise wouldn't want to watch them. I'm trying to really create valuable content that appeals to people that they really do want to watch. I'm doing keyword research to target people who are asking questions and I'm making videos that answer those questions so it makes sense. And I find videos that I know that YouTube likes and I make videos like that to partner with YouTube so that YouTube will promote it to promote me and my companies and will help my channel grow. Doesn't that just feel better? <laughs> Doesn't it feel better to partner with YouTube and know that you're not going to get dips when there's an algorithm change? I mean, I hope that, that YouTube continues to make more and more and more algorithm changes. It just means that it's making YouTube better and better and better. Imagine if the algorithm stayed the same as it is today five years from now. Imagine, I mean, that would mean that YouTube is dying and we wouldn't have YouTube anymore. So we hope that there's tons more changes and it's gonna get better and better and better. And if you follow a good keyword research strategy and you try and align yourself and partner with YouTube, you will succeed. In many of my videos, I talk about my keyword research strategy. In fact, I got a video right here that you'll probably enjoy. It's my tree analogy. It will make this whole process way simple. So check out that video. I've also created a keyword research guide. You can opt in to get this for free. So if you text HERO1 to this number, 415-528-7403, then you'll get access to that keyword research guide that I, that I provide for free. It goes step-by-step step exactly how I do keyword research to get ranked on Google on day one, so I don't have to beat the algorithm. I can just do keyword research 
This video will tell you all about it. This keyword research guide will tell you all about it, how to do that. And I continually post videos like this to help you get great results on YouTube. So make sure you're a subscriber. If you'd like to get daily alerts when I upload a new video, then click the bell that, that appears right next to the subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow.